previously in Let's Play Mega Man X. Under the sea, under the sea, fighting a mavic, wreaking some havoc, I'll kill him, you see. Up on the land I fight all day, fighting the mavericks I blow away, but it's no worry, I'm in a hurry, under the sea. And now for the continuation. Salutations everyone, and even I can sing off key if I want to. But guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X, and we got the final Maverick we're going after, and his name is Boomer Kawanger, which apparently is a pun on uh, the word for beetle, apparently, for, Jap uh, for Japan. So, yeah, he's a beetle, basically. I think some people say he's a dung beetle. I'm not entirely sure on that. So I guess he deals with a bunch of uh, feces. I'm not saying it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is Boomer Kranger stage, and, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's go up here, and, uh, yeah, after that, it's, I don't know what to say. This stage is just a bunch of going up, up, and up, and then there's some sideways platforming here, like right here. If I, uh, hit those lasers that, uh, every once in a while come between those, like, two points there, yeah, those things up above start shooting at me, so it can be quite annoying. But really, for the most part, this stage is going up, up, and up. It's almost like a Luckman stage in, uh, you know, Mega Man 1. I I'm just saying. I mean, I wouldn't say it's exactly like it. I mean, there is some sideways scrolling, but it's the concept. You're going up, up, and... Did I mention you're going up? Because you're going up, and by the way, you're going up. Oh, and you're going up. <laughs> yeah. But, for the most part... Yeah, this stage is pretty much straightforward. Just keep going up. I don't know what else to say. This is a lot of times I've been saying up. How about a one-up? Okay, uh, that's enough um, jokes about that. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, all we're doing is pretty much, you know, going to uh, the Maverick. There, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not going to say it. Just continue along. So, there we go. But yeah, you got those turrets that come out of the, the wall every once in a while, and they can be quite annoying, you can just easily dispose of them. And then there's these weird lizard things that are on the... I guess it's the ladder or something like that. I mean, I, I would think those ladders, uh, those lizard things would be more uh, cooperative in a uh, Sting Chameleon stage, but hey, you know, you got a place that you're going uh, constantly in a, you know, motion where I'm going. Yeah, oh, by the way, there's the final life tank, but I can't get it. Not until I defeat the Maverick here. So, yeah, the Maverick uh, here, uh, Boomer Kroanger, he gives you an item that allows you to, well, grab those things. So, yeah, uh, you'll see it when I, well, defeat uh, Boomer Kroanger. Unless I'm not going to defeat him. No, I, I'll definitely defeat him, so don't worry about that. But, yeah, just these enemies, they're... Nothing special. Those enemies uh, that crawl along the wall can be somewhat annoying because, well, sometimes they can get out of the way or whatever from where you're trying to fight them and whatnot. But it doesn't matter. Now, one of the things that uh, is very helpful with, uh, well, Launch Octopus's uh, weapon, the homing, uh, the homing torpedo, uh, basically, yeah, Boomer Kawanger can teleport, basically. He can, like, warp around and stuff. Hmm, wait a minute, something about his design looks very, very familiar. Hmm. Oh, he kind of looks like Cutman. Yeah, yeah, they kind of went with a Cutman design. But yeah, the Horming Torpedo, like, tracks where he's going to be at. And, uh, anywhere he teleports, he basically hits him. Yeah, even a Horming Torpedo, despite the fact that it doesn't do a lot of damage, it just tracks where he's at and disposes of him. So, there you go. Yeah! All right. <laughs> so what do we get for defeating him? We get a pretty, pretty good item. It's Boomerang Cutter. That's right, Boomerang Cutter. And the funny thing is, this thing is very, very hard to drain its energy out of. Because, well, when you launch uh, one of those uh, boomerangs, it comes right back to you and it refills the energy you have. But because we defeated all the Mavericks, well, hi, Zero. It's been a while since I've seen you. Hey, that's great that we found Sigma's Fortress. Well, yeah. Let's end this reign of terror. All right. 
So yeah, now we have Sigma open. But before we do anything with Sigma, let's get the rest of the collectibles. So we're back here at, you know, Spark Mandrill stage because, well, remember the E-Tank or the Sub-Tank? I don't know, I keep flipping back and forth between the uh, two pronunciations, but yeah. Go back here and you can get the Sub-Tank over here. So how do you like, get the Sub-Tank? Well, here's the thing. You have to select Boomer Kroinger's, um ability and jump a little bit. There we go. We have the next sub-tank. We have all the sub-tanks. Hooray. But one moment. I got one last thing to get. What can that be? It's back in Boomer Kroinger stage. All right, I'm back. And yes, we're finally getting the last health tank right there in Boomer Kroinger stage. So to get it, basically just use his weapon. And there we go. We have all the health ups. Hooray! We're finally maxed out. Alrighty. Now there's only one less uh, thing to do, and that's go after Sigma himself. Can we defeat Sigma? Will we defeat Sigma? Well, obviously, if you're watching my Let's Play, obviously I'm going to be going through and beating him. I'm serious. Anyways, yes, Sigma himself. We can't see any specs on him, and we can't figure out where he is on the map. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we're going to finally be taking on Sigma's Fortress in the next episode. So until then, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one.